Hi there, today we're going to talk about how to get a depth of field readout when you don't have an iris motor in your Teradek RT setup. Now there are certain situations that uh, your DOP wants iris control or simply you just don't have enough motors in your kit at the current time, but knowing every measurement and particularly knowing the depth of field would really help just for safety. Thanks to the way the Teradek RT saves lens file information, we have a nice little hack to get around that. Now in this example, I've got the Fujinon 85 to 300 with the focus and zoom motors already on. And you'll notice on both my hand unit and my monitor that I don't have a depth of field readout. However, we can still achieve this without having to put another motor on. I can kind of lie to it that we're moving an iris motor. So all I need to do is go from one hard stop to another and then tell the Teradek RT what the numbers of each iris stop should be. So we're just gonna go menu, lens, lens map. I've already mapped the focus and the zoom of this Fujinon lens behind me. So all I have to do is go into the menu and edit the lens file. However, the same still applies if you're creating a lens map from scratch. All you'll do is go down to create and then follow the steps in your lens mapping process. So we're already at our widest at T2.9. So for me, I go down to edit, I go show all and I select our Fujinon 85 to 300. I go down to iris and I say yes to creating an iris table. And I just need to scroll up until it reads 2.9. And then our next mark is T4. Now you notice I'm not going to the actual T4 mark because it doesn't matter. <laughs> On most focus systems, when you're creating a lens file, the focus ring or the iris slide you have applied do not relate to the information you're inputting. It's not until you select that lens file, then those measurements are remapped to suit that focus ring or that iris slider. So it doesn't matter what you have on your hand unit at the moment, we can really tell whatever white lies we like and it will be fine. So I've just gone up to T4 and then again to T5.6 then to eight, then 11, 16, 16, and 22. Then all we have to do is go back until it asks us to save the changes, which we say yes. Now, because I already had this lens file loaded onto my hand unit, by inputting this new information, it's, it will load the information straight away. Now you see, suddenly we have this big blue bar as well as another readout at the bottom of our monitor. And the same applies if we go all the way back to the main screen of our Control 3 hand unit. We suddenly have a depth of field readout. And then if I move the zoom, our depth of field changes. And the same applies if I pull through the focus as well. Now if there came a moment that you suddenly were able to, or you had to put a motor onto your iris axis, those marks would be inaccurate technically. So just it's worth noting that it's a good hack, but if you want to use an iris motor later on, you would have to just remap it, which is, you know, it's not too bad. I know this is not in the manual, but it's been a really good hack for me uh, when for some reason you're not able to get an iris motor. So I hope that helps for future shoots for yourself. If you've got any questions, put them down in the comments below. Talk soon.